Okay, have you ever had something of yours taken out of the fridge at work? Well, one of our Fox 5 co-workers wants his stuff back. <laughs> Chris Murphy is in the kitchen with more. Chris, here we go. What is here we go. We've all been violated, and we all may have done a little violating, but this takes it to a whole new level, okay? Came in this morning and saw this on one of the two refrigerators here in the Fox 5 kitchen. I'm lost. Can you help me? My name is Richard Fox's Ice Pack. I live at Fox 5 Freezer. The last time I was home was Tuesday, 7-24-18. Can you help me get back home? My family will give you a reward. Richard Fox is the head of everything that is IT here. He fixes our computers and whatnot. Richard Fox. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Um, <laughs> thank you for the frivolity. But it raises a serious question. Someone violated you, and it's one of your friends and coworkers here at Fox 5. <laughs> and I have no clue. But I definitely believe it's an inside job. Oh, well, it's, not, it's definitely not the Russians. I'm certain of that. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Well, Rod Rosenstein may weigh in. Uh, tell us about your, your, your sign. How did you come up with this idea? Well, I had a very nice ice pack, which is very nice during this heat wave. And I last saw it on Tuesday, and I come in on Wednesday, and it's not there. What's so, the retail value of this ice pack? Well, you can only buy them in quantities of four uh, for 50 bucks. So you figure it out. It's like $12 a piece. In all honesty, this is kind of fun. Are you kind of... Okay, I'm kind of bummed that someone would do this. You feel violated? A little bit, because I learned this is an important question to always ask myself before I take something. Is this mine? Mm. And if the answer is no, I don't take it. Okay, I have uh, something uh, <laughs> to admit here. Uh, Richard likes to do a lot of cooking in here. I had some sourdough bread that I toasted about three weeks ago, and I purloined a small sliver <laughs> from his, his butter. Okay, a stick I of butter. You. I apologize. That's all right. I'm forgiven? Yes. I want to show you one thing in the freezer, though, okay? okay? You won't find Richard's ice pack, but you will find this note that I just read, and it says this here, okay? Here it is. Malik's, do not throw out X's and O's, right? And what is it? Malik's Hot Pocket. So this would be a violation, right? This is wrapped. It says a sign. You can't steal this, but if there was something like milk or juice, Richard, you'd see that kind of go down over time. What do you think? All right, admit it. Raul and Shelly. Have you ever, would you ever, and in light of what Richard just said, could you ever steal again from the community fridge? What do you mean again? That's leading the witness. I've never done it. So again? Okay. No, of course not. A new study shows 18% of your coworkers across the country yeah. steal on a regular basis from the fridge at work, okay? One in five of our coworkers, okay? I know who they are. I know oh, who they know. are, too. Oh, well, I know who they are. And there's Malik over there, by the way. Your hot one, pocket is still there, Malik. One is sitting okay? at the desk. I have a very personal story. I just don't know if it's appropriate to, sh to share on TV. Well, then follow that instinct and don't say it. Right. <laughs> Get out of my desk. That's oh, yeah. so rude. Hey, put back my Cholula sauce. That's my private space, dude. Cholula sauce. <sighs> have we run out of things to talk about uh, today? Yeah, what just absolutely. <laughs> yep, content. Okay, that's good. <laughs> content. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Comedian Roseanne Barr opens up in her first television interview since the controversial tweet that ended her career. Jackie Ibanez tells you what Roseanne is saying in the aftermath of the firestorm. Embattled